Hey guys, this is Pervious1030 here with Tin Can Gardener. Um, well guys, I've been getting rid of a lot of plants to a lot of people. Um, been having some issue with some gnats and things of that nature. I've been trying to use some of this Fox Farm Don't Bug Me. Well guys, I gotta tell you, it's been sad to watch them go, but there's a reason why they're all going and I will do a video about that one day we'll get into that other than the fact that I just like giving plants to people however um, uh, I, give, I give them to uh, people that are going to utilize them and enjoy them uh, one of the recipients you might know as uh, Survivor Jack he has his own web channel go check it out really great information over there um, and I just wanted to talk to you guys because I haven't been able to get very many videos up. Uh, it's been kind of frustrating. My phone, it just don't want to upload videos to YouTube. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. But anyways, um, I've been pretty busy with a lot of different things. And as you can see, my rack is bare. There's barely anything. I mean, anything. This is pretty much all I got right here. All this stuff here. Um, yeah, let's do this. Just a little bit. Uh, like I said, guys, it is it is what it is. I try not to... Uh, sorry if this is a little shaky. But I try not to get too carried away with it. But with gardening, it's kind of a hard thing to do. Um, I got a couple beautiful plants. This here is a monster garden tomato plant now the reason why I'm so excited about this one can you see that big old flower right here let's see if you see it right yep there she is right there it's gonna be a huge tomato so what I want to do is take some of the flowers off from around it and uh, excuse me take quarters getting old it's starting to hurt um but if you take and you pinch all the other flowers off of that branch, it, it grows really nice big tomato, especially with a beefsteak, a, a big boy Belgium or anything like that. You're going to get some nice yielding tomatoes. They just take forever to grow. But good things come to those who wait. Um, I want to show you guys. I'm going to take this off of here so I can kind of show you what I've been up to. This is going to be a little bit of a lengthy video, and I apologize for that, but it kind of has to be for me to show you what I need to show you. Okay, so uh, getting into some cloning. Pretty simple. Everybody thinks you need cloning gels. Now, that's a clone. That's a clone. That's a clone. That's the one I just took off of. Oh, sorry. That's the one I just took off of the uh, big plant I just showed you. So clone, 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 clone. Um, a lot of clones. Worked out pretty good. Um, quite happy with it. Uh, these are all uh, heading out. And raspberry bush took off. Look at this thing. I, I'm sure you guys seen it whenever it was like a stick. So that thing took off. I am flowering an onion so I can have some seeds. Um, and it, it is what it is. I just like, uh, I love to, I love to garden with a bunch of different varieties of plants. So that's what I've been doing. The basil took off, lemon basil. This is a Roma tomato. And what I did was I stuck it in a coffee can and stuck it in a bucket with some water. It'll take up what it needs. And then that right there is collard greens that are flowering. And this guy that you see right there is a tomato and an upside down thing. I had the wire basket. I put the uh, lid to the cup in there or the bottle, put it in upside down. That's what I got. But if you look up here, you'll see more plants. And what happened was I think I got some seeds uh, down in there. And yeah, they grew. It happens whenever you're gardening. Sometimes you get a few strays. I uh, got potatoes popping up in there. Got potatoes popping up in here. 
alongside of this um, oh it's a green it's really good for you I forgot the name of it um, Swiss chard there we go another pepper that's basically all I got left guys I got some radishes coming up outside got my compost bin but um, the big news is unfortunately we are going to be relocating um, I'm not gonna get into specifics it's just kinda sucks whenever you got a lot going on like this so I've been pretty busy so that's what I've been doing trying to get rid of all these plants um, it is what it is I can't take them with me so I'm going to just send them on their way that over there is actually the little flower right there is um, you know I can't even think of it right now but anyways it's really good for you it's good in tea and things of that sort and I'll remember the name later it's funny I grow stuff I don't even know what it is but it's really good for you in tea um, chamomile there we go it, it kind of looks like a daisy but it's really a plant so I'm gonna let that seed you guys see what I'm doing I'm trying to make things seed so I have seeds so if I move possibly next year or start a late garden whatever I gotta do but I'm gonna have to do it um, unfortunately these little guys would never survive the trip it'd be too hot and a million things could go wrong and I don't feel like messing with it so I got enough things to mess with but this is what I got going on um, it's quite sad but it is what it is so anyways I'm going to be signing off now, um, whenever I can make my next video I will, I'm just trying to get some cords so I can try to pull the videos off my phone onto my computer and send it to YouTube, so that's what I got going on. Alright, this has been Previous 1030 with the Tin Can Gardener, um, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think, if you get any questions about anything that you've seen here, shoot me a message and I will answer the best I can. Alright guys. Till next time, take it easy.